we are here to announce the new date of the marathon. We are all aware that because of COVID 2020, we were not able to do this marathon. This year, we have, we have had to postpone. And the new date for Eldred City Marathon, which is a world major marathon, will be held on the 6th of June 2021. So we are inviting all those athletes who had registered and also those who are not registered, the registration is still open and we encourage you to register for this marathon. Probably this would be the only major marathon in this continent this year. We are going to have electronic timing for this marathon. And therefore, the time you are going to post as an athlete this time round will be very authentic time that can then be ranked like any other marathon in the world. And we are inviting the Ministry of Sports to also take advantage of this marathon and partner with us and also use this marathon to select a team that is going to represent Kenya in Olympics that is going to be held in, is it in Tokyo? Yes somewhere in July and August. And since we might not have any other event of this measure, and because of the improvements that the local organizing committee and our department of sports and our sponsors and the effort they have put, first to make sure we are improving on our standards for timing, the course has been certified by Athletics Kenya. This marathon is among the least of marathons in the world majors. There is absolutely no reason as to why Kenya should not be represented in the Olympics, in the marathons, using this marathon as the qualifier race. We are ready. We have marked the route. The athletes, um, the registration is ongoing and um, we have also athletes from outside. We have also, Eldoret City Marathon has its possession electronic timing system and beeps fitted with uh, QRS gods that um, can read and in interpret the electronic system. This technology will be debuted for the first time in this year's marathon. We have sat your excellency with the team. We have looked at what is required and I wish to report to you that uh, all is set. And with your permission, Your Excellency, we wish to uh, start the process so that in a short while we have the event taking place. We are a powerhouse in sports, and uh, sports is also a career event for many of our youths, and it is actually used to nurture the talents of our young people. This year's event will be a unique one, considering that uh, there are so many things it is being done at the time when we are having this pandemic. We've also seen what uh, Director Moses has shown us. So cheating will be something of the past. We will not have anybody cheating because with the electronic timing, we will have, we'll make sure that everybody goes through the route that we, we've given. I want to say that uh, from athletics here in Central Rift, we are ready to offer the technical assistance to this event and we'll make sure that all the international standards are followed to the letter so that uh, we have an international event at the level that we are in here. Let me take this opportunity to also thank His Excellency the President uh, for reviewing and the Ministry of Health for reviewing the protocols that allow us to resume sports. But let me on the outset put a caution that the fact that the President and the Ministry of Health has reviewed the protocols to allow for sports activities to happen across the country, that does not negate the fact that we have to adhere strictly to the preventive measures and guidelines that we've been given by Ministry of Health. And I therefore want to say 
that as county government, through our Department of Health, we shall be very keen when a race director and the local organizing committee to make sure that your organization of this marathon will fully comply with the set guidelines. And there are no irreducible minimums. We must comply with all the guidelines that have been given by Ministry of Health in order for us to conduct this marathon. We know that COVID-19 is still here with us and we request all those who are going to participate to cooperate and adhere to the COVID-19 uh, protocols. We shall provide a, a very elaborate uh, guideline on uh, who is supposed to be there even at the start and uh, at the end and also at the course. So we would really wish that we all cooperate and understand that because of the situation of COVID-19, let us adhere to the protocols to protect all of us. I want to urge our athletes that please, if you know you have used banned substance, don't even waste your time coming to run this marathon. Because all athletes who are going to run this marathon and qualify for our prize range for those who qualify for prizes, you will not earn our prizes before your test results are availed. So let's run clean sports. I think this will be a new chapter for our country, for our county, and for all our athletes who will be having chance to participate. I want to ask all the athletes to get prepared because it has been a very difficult time for them during this pandemic. I believe many athletes have had a difficult time because most of them have not had time to compete and most of, the, most of them have just trained and they cannot have where they can compete and uh, gauge themselves on the training. So this will be a very good event for them and I want to ask them to come in uh, large numbers so that they can win something for their future and for their families. On behalf of the sponsors, I want to say that we are privileged and we are very ready and it is now our humble time to come out uh, well and sponsor this event which indeed today, I mean at this time around it is going to be an international event and it is the only, it is the only event this time around in our county that is going to be a specific one which is, uh, which is uh, going to be a large number and um, I represent uh, our company as elders, and I know uh, the companies are so many and um, we had started the uh, sponsorship and I know this is uh, now time to start now and uh, move forward. And the target. The theme of this marathon is climate action. All of us must take responsibility. Other than planting trees, we must also take responsibility in the manner in which we handle our solid waste particularly in urban areas and peri-urban areas. We don't want anybody to be policed to take care of the environment. We want that responsibility to stem from you so that we can have a clean environment, sustainable environment that is fit for human habitation. We are ready as a, a committee and we are ready to plant one, uh, one million uh, tree seedlings um, we are happy now that the rains have set on. We are waiting for these rains. We have identified around 16 tivets where we shall plant and grow these trees. We have also talked with some farmers who are ready to partner with us and uh, we are going to do this work with them. And every other person who is ready to support us in the tree planting uh, we welcome you and uh, we hope that at the end of um, this exercise we shall have attained our target, as I've said, one million tree seedlings. That is not to say that we as the residents of this county should just sit and say government is going to plant trees. 
remember it is a requirement in this country that 10% of your land and when we talk of your land we are not talking the, of the size of your land so if you own one eighth of land in this county or this town 10% of that one eighth must be under trees Other government meet it tatu peke yake ndio in account for 10% of your plot ukishapanda hiyo tatu ambaye ni 10% kwa plot yako utakuwa umechangia pakubwa kuhakikisha tuko na mazingara bora tutaendelea kupokea mvua na hivyo tutakuwa na chakula and i want to dare say this as a human race if we don't take care of the environment the environment is going to respond to us to us in a very harsh manner so we also want to invite if you are not a professional athlete register for the 5 kilometers kuja tujenge afya pamoja sisi wote hatuwezi kimbia ile ya ya kushinda 3 million lakini sisi zote tunaweza kimbia ya kuweka afya yetu ikuwe bora so kwa hivyo nawalika especially kama unajua uh, umeanza ku develop signs kama hii yangu hapo katikati and i can see we have so many potential marathoners for 5 kilometers around here we are inviting you kujeni tukimbie hii fine and after the marathon i am encouraging the residents of this town let's make it a culture to run every day in the morning i know one mzee who is 95 years and runs 5 kilometers every day when i look at his health status and appearance i suspect he looks more healthier than me and it is that 5 kilometers every day in the morning that is making wonders so i want to urge all of us that um, come register for the 5 kilometer marathon and after that let's make it part and parcel of our culture We shall endeavor as county government to continue extending the footpaths to almost every estate when resources are available because we have realized that when people exercise we reduce on our cost of health services in fact kuna watu wengi najua walianza kukimbia na matatizo ya magoti magoti kukosa oil bearing kushagana tangu wafanya mazoezi imeisha and i'm told some doctors are complaining that the clients are reducing <laughs> so please instead of visiting the doctor take a walk or a run kila mmoja ambaye amekuwa part and parcel of this a press briefing But our visitors yes you will leave the place at your own pleasure